Assalamu alaikum. Today's tutorial is going to be a continuation of the previous one, uh, which is regarding using quick parts to add properties or uh, to set up document properties that you can use within your document. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add custom properties to your document. So if you have not looked at the previous tutorial before, then I recommend that you first watch that tutorial. You can find it at facebook.com slash skills by Karar. Uh, now once I'm going to assume that you have already watched it. So today uh, it's as I said before that it's going to be about adding custom properties. Now let me be honest that there is no easy way of doing it. There are multiple ways, but none of them are as good as the built-in quick parts uh, section, which already exists. So I'm going to explain all four of the methods that you can use as an alternate. So let's go. The first and the easiest method to have your own properties in the document is not to have properties or custom properties at least. So there are a certain level of properties. If you click show all properties, there are certain properties already available here and my recommendation will always be that you use these for anything that you want to use in your document. So for example, for your VN description, rather than uh, the property being saying review and description i should be saying here issued for review let's say and i use this property as my review and description as it will be the easiest method as always so here i can now go to insert correct properties document property and status and my issued for review has come here so use the existing properties that's method number one uh, of course it's not much of a tip but it's the most easiest method now the second recommended method uh, is going to be via SharePoint if your company has a SharePoint website then or SharePoint setup already done like this one like my company has then you can use SharePoint to create your own template and when you create a template on SharePoint those properties get added to your document as uh, uh, properties which you can add use as quick properties so for example i have this sharepoint document manager here and if i want to have any property uh, available within my document as a quick property i would have to add a column in it within the sharepoint and that becomes a property of both the existing as well as future document so for example let me click add column and i have different data types that are available here so for example let's say i'm going to have a revision date of the document itself so i'm going to say it's a date type so the name of the property is going to be rev date i can add a description so type is date and type include time no i just need the date friendly format yes and the default value is going to be today's date or i can have more options as well so this is just for testing so i'm going to save it and now once i have review and date created in my documents any document even the existing one i can always go and create a new word document and having a new word document is going to create a new document using the new template but any document within this folder on sharepoint is going to actually adapt these new properties as well go to quick parts document properties and you can see here now revision date which i added has become available and the third method is having the built-in custom properties section so for example in this document i'm going to have revision number stored in a custom property go to file again info tab click the properties and you will see advanced properties so if you go to advanced properties there is a section called custom properties and from here you can add as many custom properties as you want so for example i have already created these custom property let me show uh, one of these to you that how to create them by yourself so for example let me delete the existing revision number so i'm going to create a custom property called rev number it's a text type property its value is going to be let's say zero one and i add it now rev1 is a property stored within the document these advanced or custom properties don't come 
available here and that's where the problem is because that's the disadvantage of this feature that even if you go to quick parts within the document property you will not be able to see that property so how to use them you have to still use go to quick parts but this time use a field now fields has a lot more properties than or variables stored other than the quick parts so these this is a document information the properties are a document information and within the document property you will find all the properties of the document including your custom property so for example revnum is a property that i had created and if i click ok so this has been created this gray color around the text indicates that it's a field so it's a field property that is coming here which is rev01 so it's not as good as a quick part property but at least it's there and you can use custom properties uh, now the second disadvantage of this is that in case you update the value within your advanced properties it will not automatically update so let's say I have updated my revision number to now 2 I modify it and if I go back to my document as you can see here it's still showing 01 unlike quick part which automatically updated the document as soon as you did something so how to update it to update any values of the field you have to manually click refresh or the F9 key to update the values of the fields so select your text where your field is if you have multiple fields you can click ctrl a to select all the text and then click f9 or type f9 on the keyboard so if you press f9 now you can see the field value has updated if there were 200 fields across the document everywhere it will get updated but it will not automatically update so you have to select and then press f9 to update it so that's the third method the fourth and the least preferred method is using XMLs. Now, why I'm saying this is least preferred method? Uh, for uh, because it needs some XML programming understanding as well. XML is not really a programming language, but still, if you understand HTML tags, then XML is very similar to that. So, for example, here I have an XML created. So the first line, this tutorial is not going to cover how to create XMLs, but if you see any online tutorial for XML creation, then it will be very simple, especially the XML that you need for your word. So the first line is that which tells the document or word that it's an XML document and properties. And this is my namespace for the XML, which is my properties. You can give it any name and this is the main element of it which is the core property so i want to call it core properties and these are the different elements that are going to be there so these elements become the variables that get stored in my word document so for example document number document title author checker approver rev number rev date rev description you can have any tag starting and close that same tag with a slash and that's the property that will become so whichever properties you want you can have in an xml file now to load these xml these xml properties or elements become part of your document as properties how to do that first of all you will need to have access to this developer tab for this by default if you don't see the developer tab then how you enable it is go to file options or a customized ribbon and here you do select the developer tab that's one method or you can right click on your ribbon customize this ribbon and then select it from here in both ways you will get your developer tab now once the developer tab is open you will see XML mapping pane so click XML mapping pane and there are some already schemas made for this document so to add a new XML schema you're going to select this option add new part and it will ask for the path of your XML file so my file is here my properties.xml now once I select it 
you will see that my properties has become enabled here go to my properties and here under properties i have the main node core properties and all the different elements that i had created there have been populated here as well now wherever you want to use any of these properties you have to use this xml mapping pane to actually include those properties uh, the only disadvantage uh, with this method other than knowing xml is that you will have to select the data type each and every time so for example ref date should be a date but in the xml we did not set any properties for it that it's a date type or a text type or what kind of uh, field it is but anyway we can set it now here as well so for example this is where i want to add ref date so in while your cursor is here right click on the ref date and now you see the option insert content control and from insert content control you can select that it's a rich text rich text means text with the font styles available as well or a plain text picture checkbox combo drop down date picker so let's say date picker and now i can i have a date picker available in this control section and i can select the date for this document and this is how my property of revision date is being updated or controlled through this xml pane ref date so if i added that ref date somewhere here as well i would have to select again that this time it's still a plain text or a date picker again but as you can see the data is up to date using this property of ref date so let me see if i change it to 22nd the 22nd ref date changed here as well so it has the properties of your regular quick picker uh, quick parts but these properties which are in xml are still not available within your quick parts so these are available only through the xml mapping pane so as long as you have xml capability uh, understanding which is a very simple document you can even copy paste this text uh, and make your own properties don't change the up to or three lines and then just add any number of variables that you want and then you can control them now i want to use an advanced rather than this status i want to use an advanced control here as well this will be my last tip so for revision descriptions i want to give a user uh, two or three multiple options that what he can use so let's right click on this insert content control and i'm going to use a drop down list now drop down list by default will have nothing so how you actually add more properties to it you go to developer and then click properties while this item is selected now you can give a title to it or leave it as blank so the title we already know is a rough description but in case you want it you can add that rough description this is not essential this is optional this is what's important so for this drop down list i can add elements to it so for example i want to say issued for review i want to add another property which is approved for construction and let's say issued for bid so i'm adding my own uh, drop down list and once that is done so that title that we added rev description is coming here just like any other quick part and the good thing is now if you click this drop down these properties are available here so the users you're creating the document for can actually select from here that this document is issued for review and he's now limited to only these properties issued for bid and approved for construction so this is how you have more control on your uh, content these properties menu actually change based on the type of control you added so for example for a revision date if i click properties i can actually select the now it's not a drop down list the properties are showing me what format of date you want so let's say i'm clicking july 17 this format and this format gets changed and you can have different formats for different fields available as well if you want to copy paste the same field just select the whole field 
and if you copy it then it gets copied with the previous properties so for example the rev description if I copy it here then it gets copied with its previous list so this is how you can actually use XML mapping to add more hidden properties uh, to your document but with better control and these are linked together so if I change issued for bit it gets changed issued for bit here automatically just like a quick part so these are the four methods through which you can add your custom properties to a document none of them as cool as the built-in quick parts but there are workarounds through which you can do this hopefully this was useful for you if you have any questions please shoot them in the comment section below thank you